Hello and welcome to your weekly in-depth horoscope for week commencing the 3rd of February for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. This week begins with Mercury gliding into the sign of Pisces, the 12th sign of the Zodiac, and one which is very much to do with introspection. Mercury, of course, is to do with communication, but in this particular sector, it is, uh, in essence, in detriment. So it's not its best transit, and this can lead to some sluggish communication, not unlike a retrograde, which ironically is going to start to happen later this month. So we need to work at our communications. But actually, Mercury does forge a beautiful link with Uranus this week. So if there is a hunch that we get, which comes from Pisces, and it is about our resources, it's possible, especially if it's something new or different or fresh, that it could work out splendidly well. Now, Neptune and Jupiter are the two rulers of the sign of Pisces, and they're collaborating beautifully this week. So if we can find ways to connect with people in a more sensory way, use a, a degree of intuition, I do feel it's possible that this can be good even in business uh, scenarios too. Now Venus also starts this week in the sign of Pisces. So there's a lot of energy in this sign. But by the end of the week, by Friday, Venus moves into the sign of Aries, where technically it's in full. So another not necessarily best location. But actually Venus in Aries, I think, can be really quite sparkling and epithetic. It gives us the push to take the initiative around our relationships, especially if we're single. And also it embraces the energy of the wounded healer Chiron almost immediately. So if there is a relationship which is suffering a little bit, I do feel this and the full moon which occurs on Sunday is an ideal opportunity to try to get things working more sweetly. Now whether this is in a romantic scenario or friendship or with a colleague, it doesn't really matter. You can use this full moon to your advantage. The key here is the Leo full moon is very much about balancing what we need to do for ourselves as individuals and also what's good for the collective, which comes from the energy of Aquarius. And that energy is also jarred right through this week by the quarter moon, which occurred right at the end of last week and provides a backdrop for the whole of this one. So I think we could find ourselves in a situation where our values whether it's around our uh, outlook to life or more about physical, um, uh, financial uh, approaches, maybe an area where we experience some kind of pinch point with another person. But the full moon can tease all of this out into the open. And with Venus moving into this area, that's really saying to us, look, try to find solutions by taking the initiative. Your specific forecast cancer suggests that as this week begins, you may start to think more keenly about travel and expanding your horizons. Anything to do with collaborating with one key person, perhaps you share similar philosophies or similar spiritual interests, well, that would be a great thing to focus on this week for sure. Just be aware that if you are planning anything long term or you're working on any kind of agreement or contract, that Mercury does slam on the brakes on the 17th this month. So there is the potential for confusion. And Mercury in Pisces is not its best transit. It is in detriment here. Despite this, it does forge a brilliant link with Uranus. And Uranus is in the part of your scope at the moment to do with being a bit more open to unusual people or more novel approaches. I think there's some information you can gather or gain this week which can prove to be very insightful and very helpful to you. Now Venus is going to be climbing to the top of your horoscope, your work sector, on Friday. If you do want to make some strides forwards here, you could do worse than reaching out to the people that you have good contacts with or perhaps joining some kind of business hub. Or perhaps if you're single, there may be someone in your workplace or professional sphere that takes your fancy. The full moon, however, which occurs on Sunday, 
does see you needing to think about balancing your resources. Now that uh, the full moon in Leo is very much to do with everyday costs and your core values. Whereas the sun in your eighth house is about your longer term planning and where you really invest of yourself in a deeper and more committed way. If your expenditure is a little bit out of kilter at the moment, this is a great time to reevaluate, try to make savings and really slim down your expenses because it will give you a sense of being more in control. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to elevate your knowledge above your zodiac sign and embrace serious astrology, please see the link beneath this video. You can order your 12-month forecast and character analysis based on your time, date and place of birth and get 30% off. Or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.